Welcome to the weekly Agri Updates Northwest. I'm Sally Barmain, Livestock Focus with the Northwest Local Land Services Ag Team. And this week I just wanted to touch on supplementary feeding our livestock grazing pastures um, or forages. I spoke a couple of weeks ago about the need to supplement stock that are on uh, winter cereals. Um, and I had a few inquiries come back from that, which has led me to just want to talk about choosing a supplement in general. Um, when we're supplementing our grazing stock, the first thing we need to look at is what our pasture base is, um, what it might lack and what it might already be high in. Um, so I had a little bit of inquiry around protein supplementation on green feed, um, particularly around the use of urea. Um, I'm not a big fan in general of urea supplementation in sheep, regardless of the feed base. Um, they tend not to do as well on urea as cattle do, and also it tends to be a bit more dangerous. Um, so for me, the reward to risk ratio um, isn't good enough to use urea um, for sheep. Um, I know for plenty of people they do, um, and it is, uh, but it's just something to be aware of. And the other thing too, I was always taught that urea supplementation is probably only helpful if our paddock is less than 30% green. So if you've got dry standing feed, like is behind me, um, then your resupplementation can be really helpful. But if the majority of our feed is green, um, particularly lush green things, such as winter cereals, then additional protein is actually gonna do more harm than good. Um, those crops are already high in protein um, and the body's already using energy to metabolize that and get it peed out of the system. Um, so by adding more, we're just tying up more energy. Um, so it really isn't, isn't helpful. Um, the other thing to look at is some of our pastures are already high in certain things um, and we really need to not be adding those minerals to the system with our supplements. Um, so our winter cereals tend to already be really high in potassium so we need to be mindful how much potassium we're adding to our supplements. Um, I guess the tricky one there is molasses. Molasses is a product that is really high in potassium. Um, and I know it's great. Who doesn't love sugar? It really does get animals to eat it. Um, but sometimes that can be doing more harm than good. Um, the other thing too is brassicas. Brassicas can be really high in sulfur. So we need to be really mindful of what we're adding um, in our supplements when we're feeding out brassicas. Um, again, molasses, great product, but naturally high in sulfur. So be mindful of that. The other thing too is to be making sure that we're feeding the right supplement to the right class of stock. Um, some cattle supplements are not appropriate for sheep. Um, they can contain sometimes too much copper and things like that. Um, so be mindful there. The other thing too is they're generally specific to ruminants. So if you have taken the opportunity to put your horses and things on the on the crop to give them a bit of a freshen up, given no, none of us have anywhere to go at the moment with COVID, really need to make sure that if we have supplements out for our livestock, they're not going to do any harm to our horses. Um, so things like remensin, so menensin, um, or lasalicid, bovitec, things like that, um, they are toxic to horses. So just make sure that when you're choosing a supplement, you um, have identified what's lacking in your pasture and you're choosing the best product to address that. If you'd like some help with that, please sing out. Um, members of the ag team and the district vet team would be more than happy to sit down and and talk through your supplement choices and help you choose the best one for your situation and also on that note given we're all in lockdown and um, starting to get the hang of um, zoom meetings uh, if anybody would like to catch up um, over the internet or even just over the phone and talk about anything nutrition related I was thinking about trialing some little group catch-ups. Um, we can talk about anything from grain feeding to supplementary feeding, whatever you like, Nutrition 101. Um, so if you want to reach out, send me an email, sally.balmain at 
lls.newsouthwales.gov.au um, with what you'd be interested in talking about. We'll probably get together in groups of four or five and um, yeah, see if we can answer some questions relating to nutrition. Um, as always, take care and we'll see you soon, hopefully. Hopefully.